Welcome back guys to my another part of Android app development tutorials. Now this video is the continuation of the previous tutorial that is Logcat in Android. So let me show you a few more concepts regarding the Logcat in Android. So here this is the project that we created in our previous tutorial. Pretty simple. Now guys as I told you these Logcats are usually used to check the values inside any variable. So let us do one thing guys, let us print a variable. Let's say string name, right? So this is the string that we have defined here as a field variable. Fine. Now this string name is currently having no value. That is it is actually having the null value. Now what we are going to do, we are going to initialize the name variable and print it inside our logcat. Fine. So let's do one thing guys, inside the log.d, let us, let us edit the message, let's say my name is, fine, I'm using the simple java syntax, right, name, fine, now guys currently this name is having what, this name is having no value, that is the null value. So at this point of time, let us run our application and let's see the output. So let us expand it, click on OK, clear the lock cat, yes. Now this is the delete option guys where with the help of which you can actually clear the log output, right? So now here our application is up and running. Now here you can see the output is in front of you. My name is null, then inside on create method and again inside on create method, pretty awesome. Now again guys to clear the log output simply click on this delete button. Right here on the left hand side. Click on it, it will clear the log output. Fine. Now guys as you have seen, here my name is actually showing as null. Now guys let us assign some value to this name. Let's say, hey what's up and let us do one thing guys. Let us copy this and replicate it, control C and replicate it as many times as we want to. Fine. So here we go. Our string has become very large. Right? Fine. Like this. Now let us run our application again and now let's see the output. Yes, now again our application is again up and running. It has printed main activity as a tag and this is our name. My name is hey what's up what's up what's up infinite times. Now guys to check the whole message you have to scroll right hand side. Now to avoid this what you can do is simply go on the left hand side of the panel and here below the delete option you will find many other options. Now this options is actually use soft wraps. Now what does it means? I will simply show you by clicking on it. Simply click it and here we go. Now guys in the log cat you don't have to scroll right hand side to see the log output. All the output is actually appearing one below the other. My name is, my name is, hey what's up, what's up, what's up like this infinite times as we have typed in our main activity dot java. Fine. So you don't have to scroll right hand side. So if you press on this use soft traps button then you don't have to go right hand side and see the whole message. Simply click on it and all the message will appear in front of you in this single window, right? Now guys let me show you, let me show you a case where your application is going to crash. Now let us do one thing guys, let us remove this message and now let us get back to our original situation where our name variable is actually null. Now let us do one thing guys, let us remove this my name is. Fine. Now we are now going to print only the null value, right? So at this point of time, let us run our application and let's see the output. And this time I am pretty sure guys our application is going to crash. So click on OK. 
and see our application has crashed logcat demo has stopped so this is because guys when this line is executed then our debugger don't get the value at this line number 18 so this name is actually null so it is not going to print any value inside our logcat our application is simply going to crash that is why we use logcat to identify at which line we are having the problem and how to fix it I will just show you now simply go to this filter and simply select this no filters right so here we go here you can find the bunch of red lines now these red lines guys is actually showing there is some error and the reason you can find here itself what was the reason due to which our application simply crashed now if you scroll down it is showing fatal exception main sorry let us scroll down yeah yes it is showing fatal exception main unable to start our component blah 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 com.logcat.shriyanksiddhar.logcatdemo.main activity so we are having some error inside our main activity right now here we go java lang dot null pointer exception now since name is since this name variable does not carry any value that is why it is showing null pointer exception and it is also showing print ln needs a message so it actually needs a value to execute this line of statement fine so let us scroll downside guys and down the side you are having you are having the actual reason caused by java lang dot null pointer exception print ln needs a message now the third line says at this line statement line number 18 it is showing some error now now here we go main activity java line number 18 simply click on it and the cursor is going to move at line number 18 now it is showing there is some problem with this line statement which means if you click on it it is going to show the line where the error has occurred fine so to rectify this error we can simply give it some value like this and run our application so this name at this point of time carries some value and it is not going to throw any exception but run our application successfully now guys so these are all about the logcat in android in further tutorial guys i will show you i will show you the usage of logcat in the real app scenarios so please don't worry about this topic logcat if it is not clear in your mind at present fine now guys if your logcat is not showing anything and in case here it is showing no debuggable application then what you can do simply go to this attach debugger to android process click on it and it is actually going to attach the debugger to our application to our emulator Jenny motion right and then again you can resume your app development process fine so this is all for this video guys catch you guys in the next video please comment subscribe and share this video and support us in a way you can thank you